What's going on, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Mutt news that just dropped today. All right, as you guys can see on the screen, Madden NFL 24 Ultimate Team Deep Dive. All right, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to react to this news and what we're seeing here from the, the, the good folks at EA Sports. All right. Um, hey, Madden fans, welcome back to the Gridiron Notes. Sorry, I have a bad habit of like just literally just clicking through. I'm going to try not to because I know that could probably be annoying. All right, the series where we bring you information, blah, blah, blah. Today, we're here to talk to you about the biggest year of Mutt. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, good morning, Madden stream on August 14th. That's the day that the game uh, comes out, I believe, too. So live on Twitch, August 14th. Be ready, man. Twitch is going to be popping. Come through. The Twitch link is in the description. Uh, they're doing their stream at 6 Eastern. I believe they said the game comes out at 5 Eastern on the 14th. All right. Um, da -da -da, program season one, 100 plus player reveal reveals that day. Okay, season one next era. Shouts to Josh Allen. You know, I'm a big Josh Allen fan. Uh, Mutt live event program, and let's see what this is. Last year, Ultimate Team had more programs than ever, continuing all the way up to the release of Madden 24. New programs, mold breakers. I don't even know what mold breakers is. Like, I stopped playing man 23 pretty early in the season this is the least amount i played last year so i'm unfamiliar with, mu with mold breakers you guys got to fill me in there much mission mutt game changers we aim to keep the experience interesting and fresh all year long this year our team is planning seven full seasons of mutt which will enable us to have even more new and exciting programs awesome that's good to know like i i think the programs and uh content they do they do a good job with that in my opinion over the course of the year, uh, Mutt puts out a lot of new players, programs, and challenges. For new players, it can become a little difficult to know exactly where it is. Okay, so the, uh, they have a hub to tell you where these cards are, how to get them. I mean, cool, I guess. That's not that. I mean, I guess this helps out the new player. So it's, it's good to help out the new player. People are introduced to Mutt. Cool. All right. With Madden 24... We have implemented a new and improved tutorial system to help players learn the deeper areas of MUT. This brief tutorial will uh, allow you to better understand the process of making your team. Okay, again, MUT vendors will have the opportunity to skip the tutorial. Good. All right. Well, that doesn't apply to most people that are probably watching this video. But again, if you're new to MUT, cool. Have you ever gone up against an opponent in MUT and they have an item you've never seen before? Dude. Who are these guys making this for? Excuse my language. This this got to be for what? What a three year old that's, that's he's about to turn four, get his first video game. We know this already, bro. We know where the cards are. Unnecessary. Well, I mean, again, if you're new, I guess like there's not no cards that we don't know where they come from. And you guys only have so much stuff. Like you go to the store, it's there. It's it, you. You turn on mutt. You you open up mutt. It, it's advertised. Get this new Aaron Rodgers. 95 overall like you have it blasted on the screen like we know where the cards are you don't got to tell us cross play and ultimate team um I, I do i am contemplating whether i'm going to be on pc or xbox um i was saying pc but the more i think about it the more i feel like there's going to be something wrong with pc and i'm just gonna i think i'm going xbox like i just there's going to be some sort of matchmaking errors can only match up against PC dudes. They had to turn off crossplay because it wasn't working. And I'm sitting there searching with me and four other people are searching all at, at 2 a.m. I can't do that. I got to go Xbox. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on Xbox. Economy changes across gen. As the gameplay experiences continue to diverge between game generations, it is no longer feasible to have much economy that is shared across console generations. I'm pretty sure you just, you just can't. Okay, so the old gen is going to be completely different than new gen. Okay, I'm fine with that. Whatever. That doesn't really make or break much. Aiden Hutchinson, 87 overall. If you did your rookie premieres, this is the boss or the hero, whatever they're calling it. Um, And this looks like, uh, breaking news, it looks like this is going to be the highest overall we get at launch is 87s. I believe the base elites are going to be at 86 this year. So they scaled back. I am a fan of that. I do think that the ratings need to be um scale i did think that they, they needed to be scaled a little bit more makes the longevity of mutt better makes it to where we can um have more time with the game the longevity is there when you scale back a little bit more uh and seeing 87 aiden hutchinson that's cool the, the card looks really dope 
uh, 87 finesse, 81 speed, of course. He's going to be dope. I didn't do the rookie premiere, so I'm not going to be able to get him. I don't believe. I think this is probably going to be an NAT car, but if, it, if it's not, then I can try him, obviously, but um, that's cool. It's, it's a cool-looking card. All right, start. Oh, they talk about the overalls right here. And Mutt, 24, starting overall for champions. I launch see. Yeah, so the, the big good card is going to be 87, the top tier. That's awesome. Uh, competitive pass. The comp pass has been revamped. It will still focus on solo battles, mutt champs, and head-to-head -head seasons. Instead of completely refreshing bi-weekly, each iteration of the competitive pass will now start on the first Friday of each new season and last the duration of that season. To keep it fresh, there will be competitive pass-specific daily, weekly, and season-long objectives for users to complete. Each season, there will be two comp pass exclusive player items to chase. This is pretty big news right here. Each player has two versions, a limited and a base. The base version will be similar to the items from NFL 23, from Madden 23, by being a B and D and having champion level abilities with a few extras. The limited version of that player can only be obtained by the first 1,000 users to reach that level towards the player. To reach that level that rewards the player, sorry. This limit, limited version will have the extra champion level ability buckets and is auctionable. Uh, auctionable card, that's that's great. Only a thousand of them out there. The biggest grinders are going to get them, hopefully. Actually, I'm not going to say hopefully. I will be one of them that gets, that's the first thousand. Uh, you'll see those cards here on the on the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are subbed to the YouTube channel. Um, I like this. I, I However, like with this news, I don't see nothing about Weekend League. Weekend League is gone officially this year um i think this pretty much sums it up unless there's something later that tells us that it's not but uh the fact that they have competitive pass and they haven't mentioned it it looks like they're coming up to mention some much so actually let me just go forward a little bit but i do like this thousand people to get it let me know what you guys think about that do you like that a thousand people are gonna have this limited version of a card gives you something to grind for man you don't have to be the most comp to get it you don't it doesn't say anything about just winning there's solos um, that, that help you get points or, or towards the, the pass. There's also different objectives you do daily. Like, it, it's a grind. I think I like that. I like the grind. <clears throat> Mutt Champ Structure. This year, Mutt Champs will not require a token for entry. Tokens are easy to get. That's not a big deal. It will stay on its same weekly cadence, but will refresh every Friday. Okay, so it doesn't seem like weekend league. Allowing users to have... Yep, a week progress, a week to progress through champs objectives in the competitive pass. Yeah, so no weekend league, unfortunate man. That's just a bad. That's just a bad business decision on their part. Maybe not a business decision, but it's a bad decision when it comes to making your community happy. I don't know uh, a community, a part of the Madden community that doesn't want weekend league back to where it once was. There's not an argument to be made for it, really. I, I truly haven't heard a good argument to why Weekend League can't be how it used to be. So I think that's an L. Champion sets. This year, in order to make champion sets more champion sets more accessible, we've changed some of these sets to require any non-BND players of a given overall rather than requiring heroes from that program. That's cool. I mean, that's that's pretty good, I feel like. The first program change, uh, this change will be visible in its headliners rather than these sets requiring five headliner heroes to complete. It will require five of any 84 to 85. That's good. That's a dub. That's a dub. Uh, MCS for my comp dudes out there, man. You want to compete in Madden. You want to win some of that 1.7 million prize pool. There's ways to sign up here. I pretty much, that's, that's pretty much all it's telling you here. Ways to sign up, man. Hey, is this it? Look towards the end. I will be competing. I will be streaming. We'll be uploading on YouTube my games um, as far as, like, the competitive side goes. And I didn't announce it officially, but just so you guys know, I will be doing all my tips, how to get better at Madden, money plays, blitzes, the metas. All of that will be here on this channel. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I like some of this news. I dislike some of it. The week, no weekend league is just a, a huge L. That just overshadows a lot of this for me. Um, I do like that a thousand people could chase that one card each comp pass. That's cool. Um, the champion set not requiring 
guys from that pro the program to to get the hero that's that's a dub um mcs news we already knew there's some dubs and l's let me know what you guys think in the comment section tips tricks money plays blitzes anything to get you better at madden will be on my channel this year for the first time ever make sure you guys are subbed to the channel leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this news today the much 24 news peace see you on the next one